I hope you don't mind. So you, you got you got quite the reputation for your liking your um, your tipple. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know where this comes from. Mate. Is that think... from your accounting days? No, it's not <laughs> far from my accounting days. It's probably from getting up in the middle of the night and uh, visiting fish markets all over the place and dragging all my chefs and people down there. Well, and, it's uh, the first thing you do funny, at fish market, funny hours, isn't well, it? The atmosphere is just amazing. You go to a fish market, yeah. it's full of fishermen, it's full of fish merchants, full of great characters. And then you want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? And, and then, then you want to drink. And then you want to drink, yeah, of course you do. Well, doesn't everybody in the morning? <laughs> And uh, so look at that kingfish, you can see just how kind of all that beautiful juice that's coming out of it. It looks like a halibut. Yeah, it's very looks white. Like I didn't think it would come it, like it, that no, it white. It cooks up beautifully white and that's the oil in it. A little bit of salt, I think, uh, a little I bit of lemon. Because I it was a bit like mackerel, so I thought it would have quite a dark, actually, flesh when it was cooked. And a lemon wedge. And I think a nice little green salad with that. I like to serve fish as naked as possible. After all, it's the star of the show, so just a nice sort of simple salad with it. I've just got a lemon and olive oil dressing. The Japanese do use this for sushi mitch, don't they? They do, yeah. yeah. And uh, great sashimi. It's just got a beautiful texture mm. in the mouth, really wonderful. So nice. Nice leaves. And then... Do you think it's a good alternative to tuna? Because you know, that is it, well... You can't, that is endangered, so it's a good substitute. I think it's going to be an amazing alternative. I really think kingfish has got a, got a great future. Kingfish with a really nice caper and anchovy dressing. Well, that looks great, Mitch. And I'm just to me, that looks like a piece of halibut. Yeah, it does cook up lovely and white, doesn't it? There you go, guys. Tuck in, let us know what you think. Mmm, that's good, eh? Mmm. It's really flaky. So, Wendy, what do you think? Mmm. That kingfish has got a really distinct flavour. It's really different mm. and delicious. It's beautiful. It's all those lovely fish oils in it because originally it's sort of um, it's grown for the uh, Japanese market where it's got lots of oil in it because they love the texture. Mm. But I think when it's cooked, all, all the oil runs into the fish, so you get this amazing flavour. If you'd like to make Mitch's kingfish recipe, order kingfish or hiramasa from your local fishmonger, or you can order online. For the greed grocers, you'll need to buy parsley, lemon, red onions, capers, cornichons, and mixed salad leaves to serve. From the store cupboards, you'll need to buy anchovy fillets and Dijon mustard. 